Yes, my fans, it is your boy Bonnie again. One more time. I'm here to talk to you, my fans, my viewers, and my subscriber. And this is strictly about love. So what I'm talking about today is fatherly love. So I want to say to each and every father out there, who have children because of what I have experienced in life and what I have been through in life I want to share this story with you my fans so first I want to say I grew up I could say the love but at the same time i could say i never love and the reason why i'm saying this my fans i did grow up with my mother and father which supposed to be love but as someone that born in the west indies and grew up in the west indies my fans Parents in the West Indies is not like parents in the UK. So, my fans, my viewers, my subscribers, listen to me. I want to truly say to you, my fans, show your children love, kindness. That they will grow up and love their children or people around them. Now, where I'm going here, I'm saying, when I was growing up, my fans, as a child, I used to run away from home and sleep in the bushes on the people house bottom in Cain Field, in Mark Grass Root. I done a lot of these things in my life as a child growing up. Now, that don't mean I never have a home. It don't mean I never have a family who claim that they love us. Yes, they provide for us in every way. They send us to school. Yes, but I probably was stubborn. Now, the reason why I was stubborn and the reason why I miss out on a lot of my school days is not because I never sent to school. But when you have appearance, parents, I wouldn't even say a parents, I would say a father because my mother was very, very loving to me. My father, of all, claimed that he, he loved. But I couldn't say the same thing about my father. No, I couldn't say the same thing about my father. Because, trust me, my fans, when I was growing up, the reason for me to run away from home several times is because of the way my father treated me. And I saw a lot of children in the West Indies who treat the same way. Now, I have children myself, but I don't believe that we as parents should beat our child and then ask Christian after. I don't think a lot of we children who born in the West Indies and grew up in the West Indies should treat the way how we treat. And as I said, I'm coming from church right now. And I just feel to stop on the road and share this with you, my fans. Because sometimes we've been through things in life and we never talk about what we've been through in life. And I'm sharing this story with you, my fans. 
because I believe that there's people out there that go through the same situation that I've been through. No, I remember one day wearing my father. Well, I couldn't say one time, I could say several times that my father beat me for things where I don't think I deserve. But there's time where he beat me for things that I could say he could talk to me about it, but instead of talking, beat. But one of the things that happened one time when my father beat me, my father beat me, and then when him finished, my skin was bleeding all over. Then my father take a basin with some salt water and wash the cut them on my skin. I remember one time when my father beat me and I run underneath the bed. My father was beating me and my mother come and ask my father if I'm going to kill me. My mother tried to pull me away from my father. My father take the belt and slap my mother over her back. My mother come out of the house and she leave the night and she go to her mother house and her father house and sleep the night. And the morning before daylight, her my mother come over there and call me out. And she take me away from my mother and father house. And she carry me to my grandmother house. When my grandmother see me, my grandmother said, yeah, she not sending me back home. So I end up spend a year and six months with my grandmother because of that same beating. No, I'm saying I can't remember exactly what I've done because there's so much time that my father beat me for simple things. But one thing I could say, I don't believe I deserve a beating where my skin go into blood. And if there's any parents out there who beat their children until their skin bleed, that is cruelty and child. That's the child cruelty. So I'm talking about father, love your children, teach them the way a child should grow up, teach them to respect others, teach them to love, that when they grow up, they will able to show their children love but if you beat your child and treat them bad beat your wife treat your wife bad beat your baby mother treat your baby mother bad your child see you treat your mother their mother like that and they treat you like that they think say, well then this is the norm this is the way because this is what they grew up and see so what happened when them grow up, this is the same way they're going to want to treat their children and treat their girlfriend and their wife. So basically what I'm saying here, to every father out there, treat your children with love. Show them love that when they grow up, they can show love to her. I'm begging your fathers, to treat your children with respect. I never speak to my father for a whole year. I run away from home and I go to Kingston. And the reason why I do it, because my father used to beat me for silly things. So several times in my life, when I'm supposed to be at school, I run away from home. I go on a bush, go on a riverside, spend time in bush with other people, children, when I'm supposed to be in school so my fans my viewers and to every father i'm begging you if you're watching this video and you listen to me please show your children your child some love that they will grow up and show the same to their children you know i can't stress this anymore I can't stress this anymore. But all I want to say, I have children myself. I have never beat any of my children. I slapped my daughter one time. 
But I've never beat, literally beat any of my children. And, you know, a time I look back at my daughter and I say, sorry, because I could have dealt with the situation in a different way. I could have, I could have dealt with it in a different way. But because of ignorance, I lash out. And because she lied to me, I lash out. But I look back into it and I, I literally tell my daughter, I said, look, I'm not sorry for hit you, but I'm sorry for the way I dealt with the situation. You know? So, my fans, let us not be ignorant. Let us not be selfish. But let's remember that God is love. And we must show love and compassion to one another. I must say my mother, God rest her soul wherever she is. Because my mother, when my father said, no food for me, my mother will hide that food and give it to me. You know, you can't have a child. And because the child done something, you're going to punish the child by not giving the child food. So what you